Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Sound Designer, where I'll show you a cool new technique on sound design in about 5 minutes or less. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make longer ambiences like this wind sound we have here loop. So what I'm going to do is play this wind sound for you for just a second and then we'll get started. So, really, really generic, very simple, straightforward wind sound. So, I'm going to shorten this because it's quite a long sound and we don't need any wind that's nearly that long. So, something like that. And next, what we're going to do to make it so that this sound effect loops, so that it doesn't have a little click when it loops back to the beginning of the sound, is cut it in half. So, now we have two regions here, you can see. Next, what I'm going to do is take this first region on the left, I'm going to drag it over to the right and overlap that second region just a little bit. And you can see now here we have a little bit of a crossfade between these two regions. So this region on the right here is what used to be on the left. So I'm going to drag these two over to the left so it starts at the beginning. And now, theoretically, what just happened is that this second region this end point ends up being the start point of this first region because we just swapped the location. So this second region will flow perfectly into this first part of this wind region now that we swapped the, pos the positions. And as you can see, we have a crossfade in between these two regions. So when we play it back, the transition from this region to this region, the first to the second, will sound perfectly smooth. So I'll play that section for you real quick. Totally indistinguishable, sounds perfectly smooth. So what I'm going to do now is actually export it out of Logic because Logic's loop function tends to lie. It smooths out pops and clicks between regions when you're looping using the cycle record function. So when I'm cycling and playing back, it tends to lie a little bit and smooth everything out. So what may sound perfect in Logic may not sound perfect in your game engine. So I'm going to export this as you see here and then open it in Adobe Audition and we'll test it there. That's my favorite place to test loops. All right, so here we are in Adobe Audition and this file here is just the wind loop that I just exported from Logic that you saw earlier. So what I'm going to do is hit play near the end of this file and you'll see this playhead loop back to the beginning, but you won't hear any distinguishable loop. It'll sound very smooth and perfect. So I'll play that again. So now we have a perfect loop that plays perfectly smoothly. And if we drop this into a game engine, it'll sound the same as it does here in Adobe Audition. It'll loop just fine. Now there's one last thing I want you to take note of, and that's using MP3s. You can notice that I used a wave, an uncompressed wave file earlier. Now the reason for that is that MP3s insert junk data at the start and end of every MP3. So I have an MP3 version of the perfect wind loop that we just had earlier. So now if I play it, you'll hear a little click or a little pop. So you can hear that the loop just doesn't happen perfectly anymore. And that's something to really consider. Don't use MP3s inside your video game projects. Otherwise, your sound effects will never loop properly. Instead, use .ogg files. Those have the same general size as MP3 files, but they loop perfectly. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more sound design tips or video game career advice, sign up for my newsletter right here on the screen, and I'll talk to you guys next time.